Have you heard of Gobekli Tepe? It's an ancient site in Turkey that literally made historians rewrite history books. Over 11,000 years ago, a group of prehistoric humans crafted an enigmatic masterpiece that's even older than Stonehenge. Before its discovery, archaeologists believed that people didn't know about iron and weren't good at making pottery. They were sure that settled life only emerged with the need for agriculture. But Gobekli Tepe changed this belief. The place has revealed that it was the temple that paved the way for a settled life, not agriculture. Until this discovery, researchers believed that farming was the catalyst for sedentary living. Meet Professor Schmidt, the guy whose findings changed this theory. He managed to prove that hunter-gatherer communities laid the very foundations of this way of life. Back in the 1960s, other archaeologists visited the area, but they totally missed the mark. While surveying the region, they stumbled upon a hill with scattered limestone slabs and concluded it was just an old burial ground from medieval times. Little did they know that there was so much more to uncover. In 1994, Schmidt embarked on his own survey of prehistoric sites in the area. Surprise! He instantly realized he had discovered something truly extraordinary. Unlike the nearby flat and barren plateaus, Gobekli Tepe had a gently rounded top rising 50 feet above the surrounding landscape. Funny enough, the translation of this place's name is Potbelly Hill. Schmidt was sure only humans could have made something like this. Those broken limestone pieces that were mistaken for gravestones turned out to be way more exciting. It was like stumbling upon a hidden treasure. The pieces took on a whole new meaning, and Schmidt with his team was about to dive into the secrets waiting beneath the surface. To their surprise, they found no traces of a settlement, no hearths for cooking, no houses, and none of those adorable clay figurines commonly found in nearby sites of similar age. However, they uncovered that those ancient people used tools like stone hammers. So, Schmidt and his team put their heads together and took a wild guess at the age of Gobekli Tepe's stone structures. Their estimation got backed up by some limited carbon dating done right at the site. The ancient vibes of this place were finally starting to make sense. It was like a puzzle slowly coming together. You may think that back then, people didn't have special tools to create something as cool as Gobekli Tepe. Not true. Turns out, these prehistoric folks used flint tools instead of fancy metal chisels. They were also skilled at chipping away softer limestone and crafting pillars right on the spot. Afterward, they carried the pillars a short distance to the summit and placed them upright. Once the stone rings were complete, they covered them with layers of dirt. Over time, they added new rings, and voila. You've got a cool hill to impress people in the future. During their first year of excavation, the team went through 15,000 pieces of animal bones from wild creatures. These people didn't have pet animals or grow their own food. They hunted wild animals for their meals. But things were about to change because the place had everything they needed to start farming. Scientists say they had wild sheep and wild grains that could be domesticated. And guess what? Just 20 miles away, geneticists found evidence of the world's oldest domesticated strains of wheat at a prehistoric village. These amazing findings have completely changed how we view civilization. In the past, experts believed that people needed to learn how to farm and settle in one place before they could build temples and develop complex societies. But guess what? Schmidt's research flips that idea on its head. He claims that the incredible effort put into constructing these astonishing structures actually set the stage for the development of advanced societies. It means that societal and cultural changes happened before agriculture. Schmidt has this fascinating hypothesis about Gobekli Tepe. He thinks it could have been a special burial site where people left their loved ones. And here's the twist. 
The burial site was adorned with fancy statues and symbols representing deities from the spiritual realm. The idea that Gobekli Tepe could have served as a sacred place adds another layer of complexity to the whole story. While the site's true purpose may remain elusive, Schmidt's insights invite us to consider the profound interplay between life and the afterlife, and the deep reverence ancient hunter-gatherer societies may have had for their departed ancestors. Now let's talk about the stars of the show, the mesmerizing T-shaped columns that dominate Gobekli Tepe. These mysterious structures range from 10 to 20 feet tall and most likely represent stylized human figures, but one figure stands out from the rest, the three-dimensional lion relief. This depiction really fires up our imagination. Why? Because it hints at the possibility that lions roamed Anatolia during the Neolithic period. These standing stones are arranged in circles and placed in rectangular pits. Each circle has a similar setup, two big T-shaped pillars in the center, surrounded by slightly smaller ones facing inward. Talk about a stylish arrangement. These towering pillars reach a whopping 16 feet and weigh between 7 and 10 tons. Some pillars are plain and simple, while others are like works of art with intricate carvings. Foxes, scorpions, and vultures come to life, crawling and twisting on the pillar's sides. But it's not just animals depicted on these stones. Some pillars have abstract shapes representing humans, and even small carvings of clothing items. Some of them even have belts. Now, there's one pillar that stands out from the rest like a rock star. This super old stone pillar suggests that a comet crashed into Earth. It happened during a chilly period that lasted about a thousand years. Previous studies examining Greenland ice cores hinted at this comet theory, but now the carvings at Gobekli Tepe prove it right. The carvings on the pillars are like a historical comic strip. They even show a headless human figure. Researchers fed the images into a computer and discovered their connections to constellations, indicating that this temple might have been an ancient observatory. It's like our ancestors were trying to document this cataclysmic event in their own unique way. Archaeologists have been excavating and researching Gobekli Tepe since the mid-1990s, peeling back layers of history and providing us with a deeper understanding of the intricate relationship between various elements. They have no plans to stop the whole process for another 150 years. Who knows what else they'll find? You see, Gobekli Tepe has been labeled purely as a ritual site with no signs of domestic activities. We were led to believe that the absence of water meant it couldn't support semi-sedentary communities. But scientists believe it's time to shake things up and approach Gobekli Tepe with fresh eyes. It's time to question what we believed before and use new evidence and different ways of thinking. Like, there might have been a group of people living in the area who didn't stay in one place all the time. They moved around a bit, but still had their own civilization, living in the area semi-sedentarily. Gobekli Tepe is not just home to a single temple, but an astounding collection of over 20 ancient structures. As archaeologists delve into the depths of this wonder, they are unraveling its unique layout, featuring two prominent focal points at the heart of each establishment, complemented by smaller structures and dividing walls. What's even crazier is that in this area, there are over 200 obelisks, which are narrow tapering monuments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.